and welcome to Games with Hank. I'm Hank, and this is Games with Me. Today we're going to be going back at the Girl Space Program. We're going to continue on our mission to turn this kind of motion into this kind of motion. That's been our goal. It's going pretty well. I've got new plans, and they are better than ever. Whole new spaceship design starting from scratch today on Games with Hank. All right, here we go. We're building a brand new spacecraft, you guys. It's very exciting. We're starting basically where we started before. Except this time, we're gonna go eight-way symmetry all the way around. Eight-way symmetry, that's right. It doesn't look bad at all. Let's do some struts. Everybody knows how important struts are. Uh, let's do some more. Is there like a hotkey for struts? Because that would be convenient. But there's not, so I'm just gonna keep clicking strut and making more struts and doing various stability exercise. Excellent, okay. Well, you'll notice that I'm not putting a, a parachute or a decoupler on this device. That's because I want Bill Corbin to die. All right, now we're gonna put wings on. Uh, Eight-way wings, you guys. Er, I, I, so you've, if you've not seen my previous Kerbal Space Program videos, um, this is not gonna make a ton of sense to you, but we're we're turning angular momentum into vertical energy. Yeah, oh man, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of wing. Whoa, I didn't mean to angle it upward. That would be bad. Oh yeah, eight wings, eight wings. I need to name this spacecraft helicopter. Bodies. Helicopterpodies! Yeah! That's right. This is the Helicopterpodies, and we are constructing it, and it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And oh yeah, oh man, it's gonna, well maybe we should throw some engines on here right like this and see, see how well this travels, uh, just with nothing else. Let's throw some, let's throw eight liquid fuel tanks on here, some small ones. They look like they're gonna fall right off. If they do, awesome, more flames. I like flames. Oh yeah, okay, we just got one stage with eight rockets on it, so let's see how fast we can make this thing go up. We want, I'd like to get over 20 meters per second lift and over 3,000 total feet traveled. So let's just rank it on up, rank it. Crank it, is what I meant. On up to maximum velocity and oh no! We didn't even get any lift there. So let's, re let's, let's like try that again with a little less of the thrust. So we're gonna put the thrust down. Oh, more exploding. Oh man, oh, okay. Uh, oh, well. So, well, Bill's fine. The good news is, Bill's fine. Let's start again, and hopefully, uh, I don't know what's causing this problem. I guess it's the sagging. I guess the sagging is happening, so let's just really drop that. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, no. This isn't gonna work. Let's, well, we've, got, we've only got two. So now we've got one, now we've got zero, and Bill Kerbin died. So let's just go back to our vehicle assembly building and try harder. Let's pop these babies off, cause that was, that was a premature, premature. Uh, and also, you know what I wanna do? I wanna put some wheels on this, cause that's a thing you can do. Utility, is that where the wheels are? Yeah, eight, no I need eight of them. Eight wheels. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be better. That's totally gonna be better. Now that way it'll spin. It won't be like sitting on the ground. All right, now let's also put on more wick. Was I even spinning the right way? Who knows, who cares? We're gonna make sure next time. I've got these wings at a significantly like greater like cut into the, into the world than they were before, into the atmosphere than previous. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be okay. We're gonna add a lot of struts though. So that's, that's gonna take some time. I could totally put more on. Don't you even start to think that that's tiny. I don't want that tiny wing. I want a big wing. Yeah, big, big wing. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's like, that's a huge, those are big wings. Okay, so we're gonna like cut for a while cause I'm gonna be adding struts for about 20 minutes. 
All right, you guys, we're back, and we got lots of struts. We're very, we're super strutted up. For some reason, it wouldn't let me add struts between the plates of the wings, uh, so I'm worried about that. But I've got wheels on this thing, and I got a lot of struts. So the wheels and struts I go round and round, and I've I've just realized that I've made a mistake. But I'm just gonna fight it. I'm just gonna. Ooh, that's a big sag. All right, but who cares? That's a really who cares is sagging fine. The, the, the sag is fine because, like, this thing is... Oh, well, it might run in right over here. That might run into the ground. But who knows? So let's throttle down and see if it does. It doesn't. All right. Do I have them going the right way? I do, and we're, we've lifted off. We have lifted off. We have a lot of lifting surface. We are now running it at 15 meters per second, you guys. 15 meters per second. We're going to get up to 20, no problem. We're at 260 meters... Oh man, those wheels helped a lot. Those wheels were gr oh, that's grand. That is what that's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, let's throttle up a bit. All right, it's starting to disconnect. I can see that happening. Um 20 All right, we're almost at 30 meters per second. We are at 30 Nope. We are at 30 meters per second. 30 meters per second and a stable. 30 meters. Oh, when I said the word stable, something terrible happened. Every single one of the engines except one detached at the same time. It is now spinning while facing downward, which is bad news for my friend Bill Kerbin. Bill Kerbin is in a disaster scenario. There is no way. There is no way for Bill Kerbin to survive this uh, at all. We can throttle up and make him spin faster so that we can at least remove that rocket from Bill Kerbin's craft and maybe, maybe all of these blades surrounding him will cushion his fall and something magical will happen if he only lands the right- YES! YES EVERYONE! BILL KERBIN! My man Bill Kerbin survives one of the most disastrous space flights of all time! Space test flights, of course, because he did not in any way enter space. Now, as you might have heard, I am interested in using this device as the first stage of a trip to space. So instead of saying, hey, look, I made a helicopter, I actually want this to be a stage of a rocket, of a mission that goes into outer space. That is not a gonna be easy. But the first, the first thing I wanna do is take these off. I'm gonna take these off. I said I'm gonna take these off. I would like to take this off. Okay, well, we're just gonna leave it hanging out in space there, because that is the only option you gave me. So here's my plan. I want to add, instead of adding... I want to do two stages of these, of these being the engines. So I'm gonna add one engine here. And I'm gonna add... So there's four total. And I hate that I have to do this manually, but I can't add... I can only add eight, I can't add four. Uh, so I have to do this manually. So we're adding them to the outside of each of these so that we can have two stages. Okay, I cannot see. There we go. So we can have two stages of, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no, oh no. This is a mess, you guys. We're gonna have two stages of, of liftoff with these engines. Uh, I need the strongest of those, which is this one. 200 thrust versus 215 thrust versus, well, 650. That's not what I'm looking for. No, that was one that was 260. Has everything changed? Has the Kerbal Space Program been updated? It has, hasn't it? It has. Okay, well, we're gonna use this one then. Oh my god, this is so annoying! Come on, get up! Uh, uh. Uh, yes. All right, now we got those on. Oh, I should have added it. To, well, I guess that could be the second stage. So that's going to be the second stage. And then there's going to be a first stage, which is going to have decouplers on the end where, where the engines are. So we can launch with the first stage rockets, detach them, and then launch the second stage, and then fly like an eagle. All right, we'll be back in a second. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I think I may have done something terribly wrong. I did. I did. I put jet fuel. I put jet fuel and oh well I'm glad I didn't do that for everything. Jeez. Oh, I didn't put rocket fuel 
tanks on. I put jet fuel tanks on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that was hard to do too! Thank you so much for watching this episode of Games with Hank. I am Hank, this has been Games with me, playing Kerbal Space Program on the back of an eight-bladed helicopter Did I say it right that time? I have no idea. DFTBA.